And it was an example of how migrant and immigrant communities are thought of, thought of last across the board, but even in medicine, that they have to go to doctor's visits and talk to people who have a completely different culture and oftentimes language, that the medical community globally, but specifically in this country, still struggles with being able to show equitable practices for migrants and immigrants. So we've worked really hard to try to raise money because you, you heard, I told you, I have less than 1% of the city's budget, so I don't have a lot of money to do these things. But our website can now be translated to 17 languages. I really worked with my team to understand who are the migrants and immigrants in the city of St. Louis. And it's a lot, it's very complex. Even communities I'm not familiar with myself. And right. I said, well, there's no way that I can have a social media post that's in 17 languages, right? So we're still <laughs> woefully behind in some of our communications. But a yeah. first step was that the city of St. Louis's website, you can press a button for 17 languages to start. So if I make sure that most of my resources and education are on the website, and then they can translate it, that's a first step. But um, social media, when I have a town hall, those are always in English. So what do I do?